Hello everyone. So today's video is going to be a nursery must-haves video. So the reason why I'm doing this is because my sister is actually doing her nursery right now for her baby girl that is going to be here in a couple months, which is super, super exciting. So I was like, you know what? I should do an updated one of these videos because it is so different doing a nursery for your first versus your second versus like your third or your fourth. It is way different. I feel like with the first, you feel like you need so many things and you go way overboard. And then when the second one comes along, you're like, eh, I only need like, you know, 25, 30% of this stuff. I don't need all of this stuff. And then plus they're with you for the first three to five months anyways in your room. But the products I'm gonna share with you guys are like my holy grail products that I love, that we still use today. I think majority of them we still use today. Um, I'm gonna have them all listed down below for you. I just have to say, I am so sad that Bye Bye Baby is going. Like Bed Bath & Beyond and Bye Bye Baby, I was just like, Oh my God, that was a hit because I love Bye Bye Baby. It's like been my favorite place to go for shopping for the girls and it's so sad that it's leaving. It's kind of like how like, you know, Toys R Us like left us and that like how that hit us hard. Like that's how hard the Bye Bye Baby thing is like hitting me. So that really sucks. But I'm gonna link a lot of this stuff to like Target, Amazon, like easy places to find it and the most affordable places to find the products too. So just check out that description box down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are brand new and you love like mommy and baby content, all that stuff. Subscribe here and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so we're first gonna get into baby monitors and I have tried out so many different kinds like Project Nursery, UFI, uh, Infant Optics, Vava. I think there might have been a couple other ones that I can't even think of the names on the top of my head right now, but I have tried out so many different kinds and my number one favorite is the Vava. I used to kind of like say it was like Vava and Infant Optics together, like the pro one, not the old one, because they were very similar and I really liked how the buttons were more easily assessed on the infant optics ones. But the problem with infant optics is one that I've kind of dealt with now having it for so long is that the range is getting worse and worse and worse in it. And I'm having a problem carrying around that infant optics monitor and it just going beep, 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 beep because it's out of range. Like it's like, it'll even do it from like the girl's room is upstairs. It will do it to me when I'm in my bathroom. And I'm I'm like, no, like our rooms are right next to each other's. So that is like a really big downfall to that one is I've noticed the range is getting worse and it's just not lasting. And the Vava has been lasting for us amazing. It has great like picture to it, it has great range. It's always had better range than my infant optics. The one down part to it was that I didn't have the buttons on the top to be like, you know, quiet down or turn up the brightness. You have to go through menu and then do those things, which is, you know what, it's fine. Just as long as the range works, that's awesome. So I definitely recommend Vava as my number one must have for the nursery. For my next must have, it is a four in one crib. And the reason why is because you get so much bang for your buck out of it and so much longevity with it. So with the four in one crib, it starts off as a crib and then you can turn it into a uh, toddler bed, which has like a little like railing on it that covers up 75% of it. And then there's like a 25% opening where they can crawl in and crawl out. And then you can also turn it into a day bed where you just take off that railing and then you can turn it into a full bed, which is amazing. So it really can last you for a really long time. It's kind of a bummer with us. Like it would have lasted us longer if I would have had the girls in separate rooms. But but since they share a room, the bunk beds made the best sense for us and it helped us save more room in there. But if we didn't have that, then definitely like that crib, that full bed would have lasted us for a long time. I ended up giving that one to their dad so that way they can have it, he can have it for his place. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely recommend a four in one crib because it will last you a really long time. Okay, so talking about cribs, let's go into the mattress for the crib. So there's tons of different mattresses out there. One very popular one was the Newton, which was great, but you would have to get like a waterproof mattress pad with it. And then also waterproof pads are not breathable. So that's why I end up going with the Halo or for my second time around with Kinsley, because it is a toddler bed, like a toddler mattress on one side and you flip it over and it's actually an infant mattress on the other. So the toddler side is 
waterproof and the infant one is not. Um, so that way it's still breathable. So it was a good bang for your buck and I absolutely loved it. We had it for a long time. Um, and yeah, so I would definitely recommend the Halo mattress out of all of them. Okay, so now getting into crib sheets. So you can get crib sheets anywhere, like Target, Amazon, all these places, but I have my favorites that I love. And the first one is Copper and Pearl because they have the cutest prints. They also have great burp cloths and really cute like burp bibs that are great to have with them when they're teething and everything or have reflux. It protects the clothes. Like Riley had horrible reflux. And oh my gosh, I kid you not, like I had so many of them and we legit used all of them. I ended up having to toss them out because they smelled so bad <laughs> from all of her reflex, but they were so good because it saved all of her outfits. Um, but they have really cute crib sheets and the most gorgeous floral prints, like especially if you're like, you know, doing the nursery with a theme and stuff, they've got so many different types of prints for girls and boys. So I definitely recommend checking those ones out. Another one that I love that I had so many of were from Little Sleepies. I love Little Sleepies because again, the fabric is so soft. It's that bamboo viscose that it's breathable for them. Great if they have eczema or sensitive skin. And again, they have the most cutest prints ever. I also have a code with them that never expires. You can use it as many times as you want. It's Madison 15 for 15% off. I use it all the time. I actually just used it to get their like 4th of July outfits. I got Riley the troll dress and then Kinsley the romper. It's so cute. They also have the most adorable pajamas, like two piece pajamas that are long sleeve, short sleeve. They have the pretty troll dresses. They have shorts, shirts, like anything you can think of and the fabric is so good for them. So I would definitely check out Little Sleepies for all the really cute prints. I actually was just on Facebook a little bit ago and I noticed that they're doing a new like collaboration with Disney and I love their Disney collaboration. So I'm excited to see what that one is, but I will have that one linked down below with the code as well for you. All right, so next up is something that you really need in a nursery, you guys, or like their room is blackout curtains. This is so important because just a little bit of light can like instantly wake them up and blackout curtains are a huge, huge lifesaver, especially if there is a time change and they have a bedtime at seven. It's still light outside in San Diego when that happens. So the blackout curtains are amazing. You can find them also in different areas, but I love the ones from Pottery Barn Kids. And if you sign up, you can get like, you know, discounts there and always just stay, like get their emails and Stuff. I always do that and I'm always staying up to date to see if there's any like discounts or sales going on but I have like this really cute one that has like it's a really pretty pink and it has these little bows on the top of the curtains and they are amazing they worked wonders for us we've had them since we started Riley's nursery and now she has a room with Kinsley and they have so many different colors and everything so those have been awesome so you definitely want to get a pair of black owl curtains and cover up those windows Okay, so now let's get into music. So I'm gonna tell you right now for a crib, I made this mistake. I think I have a video of things that I regret buying and what I wish I would've bought or something like that instead. I, it's in my library. I would definitely check that out over here. But one thing you do not need is a mobile. Like you do not need a mobile. It's more distracting for the little ones. It could stimulate them for nighttime. Um, and it's just pointless to be honest, because also when they start pulling themselves up in that crib, they're gonna start grabbing that mobile and you're gonna have to get rid of it. Like it's just, it's just cute for pictures. <laughs> so I would just completely skip on the mobile. But what I would do is I would get the Hatch Baby Rest Plus. They have different versions of this one, but the new version is really cool because it has this little like sitting um, plate that it's a charging plate that the, sound machine sits on. I'm like, I'm blanking right now that the sound machine sits on and you can control it all with your phone through Bluetooth, everything, which is amazing. You can change the colors of it. Like I have ours to a really light yellow and it's like dimmed. You can make it brighter or dim it really low. You can change the sound. You can have different music for it. And then what's great is that it has that charging plate. So you can actually take it and move it anywhere around the house if you wanted to, or take it traveling with you, which is awesome. And another great thing about it is that it's also a monitor. So you can even talk through it as well and like listen through it. So you do like, I mean, if you get to the point where you're like, I don't need it like, you know, to see anymore, I can just like hear. 
you can also use that, which is great, or use it around the house too. Like say if you have a little one, like downstairs and they're taking a nap, put the music by it and then just turn on the little monitor with your phone because it's all through the app and then you can like listen to it while you're upstairs like doing laundry or something. It's just awesome. It's something that I've had two of and we use it still to this day and my girls are two and four. So definitely a must have and is also a really good baby shower gift too. Okay, so for another Hatch product that I love is the Hatch Changing Pad. And this is also a scale in one. So again, they have an app that you can download and you have this scale, with which, is, which is this changing pad, and you can take it all around the house with you. It's easy to clean everything, which is awesome. Um, but what I love about it is that in those first few weeks, your baby is going to drop a little bit of weight. No matter what, they drop weight. And a lot of people get freaked out about it, but it's okay. So even if you're like breastfeeding and stuff and you're having a hard time with breastfeeding, what you'll do is like you'll go see a breastfeeding consultant and they'll, or a lactation consultant and they'll help you out. And what they do usually is they t they strip down the baby into their diaper, they put them on the scale, then they take them, then you nurse them, and then they put them on the scale again and they check to see how many ounces they got that way, which is great. So you can actually do this at home with this scale. And what's great about it is on the app is it documents it immediately for you. So you're not having to input any information. It literally just goes and boom, it's documented. And it's right then there so you don't forget anything, which is great. It even has like a little breastfeeding thing where you can tell them like you could time it and you can do, okay, they're on the left for this long and then they're on the right for this long and then you know what side you left off, left off on, which is awesome. And then also you can do like pictures of the little ones for that day and make little notes and stuff. So it's like a little diary and journal and I loved it. So it comes in gray and white. So I will have that one linked down below, but I think that one is definitely a good must have to get. Okay, so next to the changing pad, you want a diaper caddy. And one of my favorite ones is the Skip Hop one. And I love it because it's nice and structured. It's not too big. It's got a lot of compartments in it so you can keep everything really organized. It even has a little light on the handle for you at like nighttime, which is amazing. And I really love so you can kind of see what's in it and where everything is at. So I always have one because it's also great to kind of just carry around the house with you. You know, like when you're in those first few weeks, you are just like, you're hanging on, you know, and it just is easy when you just take it and you just go to different parts of the house and change the diapers and all that. So in there I would do the diapers. So I really liked Huggies. Huggies was one of my favorite. And then for wipes, I love water wipes in the beginning months because they're great for newborns, sensitive babies, and they're very saturated. So they're just, they wipe right off, which is great. And then as they get older, I would recommend like, you know, maybe doing Costco because you can get like a good bang for your buck there. But in the beginning, I love water wipes. And then one of my favorite diaper rash creams is Triple Paste. It is amazing, I tell you, like, I, the girls have had such bad diaper rash before and the second you put the stuff on, boom, by the next diaper change, it is a hundred times better. It's like, I've never seen a diaper cream work better than Triple Paste, so definitely get Triple Paste. You can get it in like, I would definitely recommend getting in the big tub, I think that is great. Um, and then also, and then also in there, I would make sure to get the little Oogie Boogie scoopers for their noses because their noses get a little bo boogery and that one's like really easy to kind of like scoop out and clean after bath time every single night. And then also the nasal aspirator from Baby Frida is great to have in there too for like after bath times as well because you can just suction all the all the snot out of there. And then the Oogie Boogie ones are really good for just getting like, you know, the more solid boogers out from the front and stuff. So those are great. I definitely recommend to have all of those in your diaper caddy. Okay, so also when you're doing your nursery, a lot of times you want something kind of like on the ground, especially if you have wood. Like we have wood in our room for the girls. And in there, I used to have a rug. It was a really pretty rug from Pottery Barn. And it got destroyed. It got destroyed from spit up. It got destroyed from the dogs. And it just was not okay. And it's like, you know, they're harder to clean. So what I ended up doing instead is I got rid of that rug because it was like a little circle rug because the room's not very big. I ended up getting a play mat in the form of a circle to fit that room that was the same size and it works 
perfectly. It's from Baby Care. I don't know if they still have it, but I will link whatever I can find down below. You can find whatever is gonna fit in your space, but I recommend getting a play mat because they're also really easy to clean and sanitize because what I do with that little play mat right there is the girls play on it, but I also always do their bath time and I carry them or I carry Kinsley to the play mat and I dry her off and I change her all right there and it's just, that's where she does her diaper changes in the morning because she's bigger now. And then that's where I do the diaper changes at the end of the night with her too, which is great. So, and the fact that you can easily sanitize and all of that and it's nice soft cushion for them is awesome. So I definitely recommend doing a play mat in the nursery. It will last you longer. <laughs> Okay, so the last two items that I have are ones for clothing. So I have showed so many videos of me decluttering the girls' clothes, reorganizing them. You guys can find all of those on this channel. You just search it and boom, you'll see it. Or just go through my video list and you'll see my history. Um, so one thing that I really love for the drawers is I actually like these drawer dividers that I got from Amazon. I will link them down below because you can just make a bigger or smaller whatever you need to fit your drawer which is awesome um but I love that because I have what I do is I kind of Marie Kondo the leggings like I wait the way I fold everything so it's easy to see I can see everything in there and I just pull it out I have everything color coordinated um so the drawer dividers really really help me with keeping things sectioned off for those bigger drawers so I can use more things so I do like leggings on one side shorts on the other stuff like that or I'll do like um long sleeve dresses or short sleeve dresses like anything like that I would have everything organized so drawer dividers are like the way to go and then the last thing for their clothes is kid hangers and clips so I've done this for both the girls I started these off when I started the nursery for Riley and I just got the hangers off of Amazon because that was the cheapest place to find them do not buy them at Target even buy by baby do not buy them there Get them on Amazon. You can get them in all different colors. I have pink ones. You get them. I think my sister has blue or gray ones for Caspian. Um, but I do that with their clothes. And so I hang their clothes on those because it fits better. Like it, you can't use the adult hangers. They're just way too big. And then what I do too is I actually buy these clips on Amazon too that attach onto the hangers. So I can turn a hanger into a clip one or I could take them off and it's just like a regular hanger and um, it makes everything fit well and look really nice, but I'll put those little clip ones on there and then I'll, you know, if it's like an outfit of like where it's got bloomers with the dress, then I clip the bloomers to it and then I have the dress hanging out over it and it just keeps everything really, really organized and great and I just have everything in a bin. Like when I pull one, I'm like very, like I'm OCD you guys, but when I pull one outfit out, I instantly take it off the hanger and I set the hanger into a bin up on top and that's why I have all my hangers. So then when I'm doing laundry, I just grab that bin and then I can just rehang everything right back up. It's super easy. It keeps me not like trying to hunt for hangers in there. Um, I'm trying to train Ross on this doing this too because I do it for my clothes and he does not do it. So I'm like, babe, when you grab something from the closet, grab the hanger, take the shirt off and put the hanger in the pile. <laughs> <laughs> instead of me having to hunt in there for hangers. It just makes everything a lot easier to put everything away because then I'm not hunting. It saves me time, but definitely recommend the hangers from Amazon. They're bomb. So I'll link those ones down below. All right, so those are my nursery must-haves, you guys. If you have any other nursery must-haves or products that you guys love, leave them in the comments down below. If you guys are like on the hunt for more products, definitely check out the comments down below. I love it how you guys give such great recommendations. Everything that I talked about, again, in this video is linked there so you guys can get a closer look at everything. Give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.